Hey, I'm David. And I am Tom. I'm Adam. I'm Matt. And we are Angels and Airwaves, and you are watching The AV Room on 99X.com. It's everything alternative 99x.com hd2 we have lots of cameras i don't know which one to look at yeah. but, uh, <laughs> also canard also uh, this guy yep, i'm lewis and we are here at the vans warp tour 2008 yeah. uh, joined with uh i'd like to say friends of the station for a, for a long time angels and airwaves hello hi happy to be here yeah. hi. hello david hi. how i can say one word at a time <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> thanks for having us. Yeah, no, thanks for hanging out. Uh, you guys, we knew when you got here because we were cheering outside. Uh, that would be because of your beautiful blue eyes. Is that Have it? you noticed how crazy his blue eyes are, by the way? Not to be crazy. Not to be any more. I know I'm speaking more than one word, but the fact that, no, I didn't notice. That's, I did. That's I usually it's kind of a matte. normal for me not to notice that. They're well, like, they're mesmerizing. Like usually that's a matte thing. <laughs> And BJ's like, thank you. Hey, thank you very much, that, Tom. I'm just, I'm just You're sincere. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> See, they're, they're already playing our song. They're already playing our song. You don't have oh, to. Oh, are you already playing the song? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, was, I, I said earlier, if they don't compliment me on something, I'm dropping it. Yeah, that's what I was talking right. about. So we're good. So we're good for like yeah. another. He for does. life. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, yeah, Rick Thorne, the crown of thorns. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice. You know, Rick Thorne. He's uh, here today. Yes. The bet with Lewis, so Rick Thorne now has the X, this X, right on him. here. Really? Yep. Both of his hands. Yep. And there's one more here, and that means he doesn't drink at all. X, like, oh, the people I've killed. Right? Spins it, right? So I'm right. an assassin. This Good. Do you guys still do uh, action sports? Are you still skating uh, here and there? You know, we all grew up doing that. David surfs still, skateboarding. Uh, David skateboards, skateboards too, yeah. Like my motorcycle. You did really? yeah. What? That was actually pretty, I'm impressed with that, actually. actually off a little kicker from flat ground? Well, well, it was off, like, I started at the end of a curb. So it, it was the kicker. Oh, there you go. It was a sweet kicker. <laughs> yeah, uh, I can't. Oh, I, I stopped skateboarding say. when I... When I realized that a broken wrist would take away my job, so there you go. But I love it, and uh, I am very much uh, kind of a part of the scene because we have some professional skateboarders that ride for the foot company, a footwear company that I own. Mm -hmm. So I, that's that's cool to me. And, and what's that company? Which, by the way, I can't even say. Oh, my Macbeth Footwear. We own Macbeth Footwear, but I've, I I let it out the other day uh, of a new professional skateboarder that we signed, and I wasn't supposed. Oh, to. Oh man, really you gotta let me uh, know. Oops. Uh, I but I would just say that uh, as far as I was concerned, and I know a lot of us, he was the most legendary yeah. name. Oh, so. Ooh, you're talking about Mr. Hawk? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> way, way to bring him down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so. okay. Let's not go talk about that. Let's talk about how... We can say, we can, the hint, we can say a San Pasquale, but thanks. Yeah, or 8th Street. Let's yeah. say 8th Street. Okay, we'll okay. All right, yeah. all right. I don't want to critique, but if you say you own something, the next word needs to be the name of it. I didn't want to go off. You know, you're saying action sports. I, I am still tied to it a little bit through that. But David right. surfs every day. David ollies his motorcycle every once in a while for press, I guess. <laughs> Only for press. Okay. Yeah, and he's <laughs> sore. That, he's then sore for a couple of days. I, was, I, I had to, like, move my own legs. That's actually how we know Adam, because Adam was a skateboarder when we were younger, too. And, and so we knew yeah. through friends of each other. Uh, I had the metal wheels. And the, oh, right. <laughs> Adam was a, uh, he's a roller skater. Uh, Matt was a roller skater. Oh, you keep putting the mic in front of my face. It's actually roller blades. <laughs> roller so you blades. show up for, for looks. That's all right. <laughs> we, were, we were late for the... Uh, Matt did space camp. So I went, I went, we were skateboarders. Matt was in space no, camp. Like, that's an extreme thing. Is that why his, uh, right. You were so. tattoos and everybody else? He actually has more. One at one. His whole back's done. It has a big rocket and all the counselors that were there. <laughs> Did you get the, did you, did you get the robot? No, the the you know, while you guys are alling over your motorcycles, I'll be taking over the world. So there you go, going to Mars. <laughs> yeah. Right? Mm. Okay, right. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, and of course, when you read the internet, the internet's popular. The internet. Yeah, I've, heard, the inter I've heard about that. The internet. That's what Bush does. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's, he's following his president. There's more than one. Right. Uh, and so I read on there, and you know, it's always rumor this and that, that you guys might be remixing a couple of things and then coming out with maybe two, working on two new albums. Uh, True, false? Well, let's, let's decide. We are, we are... Debatable. It's debatable. We, it's, neither, it's neither here or there. We, are, uh, we have some remixes in the works, and we're too kind of lazy to finish the last 10% they need, I would think, to get them out. Uh, as far as uh, albums, we, we are getting ready to do some new records. We're kind of in the middle of a couple of decisions that we got to make as a band. And uh, depending stays, on who goes, pretty much straight. Straight. Game. Been, depending on that decision, though, <laughs> Adam, I think we got to talk after this. <laughs> I think depending on that decision, I think that that will basically say what we do next for an album. Because there, there was talk for, to do a couple record, do a record or something for fun, like a punk yeah. rock record or maybe like a drum and bass thing or something. Uh, just stuff that's artistic exploration for us. But 
but at the same time, it's really hard for us to go in and record anything without making it like an epic kind of little masterpiece type right, thing. Yeah. So, so we're not quite sure, but we, we always talk about our ideas with our fans and stuff, so I'm sure there's a few ideas floating out there. People take a, you know, us brainstorming as what's going to happen, right? and that's not always what's going to happen. I mean, the remixes are definitely in the pipeline. We just yeah. need to get them finished. So you mentioned you, you want those epic masterpieces. Now, is it weird to go back and then, are right, we going to remix this? It's almost like redoing the whole thing again. It, it, which is why it takes more time than just putting it to like a funky beat. Yeah, yeah we because uh, once we start working on, on a song, we can't just like okay, that was cute. No, right. we just kind of start keep working on it until it becomes something worth having around forever. Do some of those start at a show where you like you know I'm kind of tired of playing this this way. Let's jazz it up a little bit. I might do this or I might do this different. Or you just go into the studio and say let's just go crazy. Uh, no. <laughs> Great. Yeah, we we kind of just. Uh, we were looking for something else to do with our fan base that, that's actively involved with our website, and 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 uh, we we heard a couple ideas from uh, from a couple people of remixes of our songs, and it sounded really cool. We listen to a lot of that kind of music, anyways, yeah. and it's it's very much a part of how we uh, compose the music. So remixing it is just kind of another way of flip flopping the ingredients, but. Uh, it does take time, but there, there's no reason for it other than just fun and, and more artistic exploration, I think. Right. Well, who do you guys uh, enjoy seeing here on the Vans Warped Tour? Because I know you're almost, a, you know, I'd say, a veteran yeah. for the uh, Warped Tour. You okay. guys, who are you uh, into seeing? The, the, I saw the Bronx the other day. I finally got to see their full set, and it was it was really amazing. And they're out of uh, Los Angeles, yes, right? They're not yeah. from the Bronx, but they call themselves the Bronx, right? Them, the Agrilites. Mm -hmm. we, the the Agrilites played, actually, the barbecue the other night, and it was just they just set up. Through, like put their instruments on, put a PA up, and they sounded phenomenal. Like it was. If you don't, if you don't know about them, they backed uh, Tim Armstrong on his record, his solo record, and I mean, they're it's an amazing band. Really do you guys do you, popular? Right. Do you guys hit all? Yeah. Do you guys hit all of the uh, the barbecues after every uh, every show? It depends if we can get in with our passes or not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you cooked yet? Uh, no. There's no. a band every year that that takes over the uh, responsibility of cooking, and everyone tips them. So we, I think we they, didn't get it. We, we didn't get. We, we wanted, wanted it so bad. It so bad. I've worked at a long line of restaurants though, so I can cook it. I could work a grill like right. a mean, a mean dog. I would not want to do that. I would not want to give Angels and Airways dysentery or what is it? No. What's the what's the proper dysentery? Yeah. Look, yeah. look at me. Look at me. What is going on? You know, I would hate to do that because it's not the worst thing for real though. Is that these guys have to sit over this giant barbecue and it's like 110 degrees outside. And even the catering guys. I think the worst thing is they go shopping for food during the that's day. That's true. All oh, right. Shopping, so that's like yeah. <laughs> David only owns a motorcycle, so he has to make like, a bunch of trips. Yeah, I think that's why he's doing so much. <laughs> right. right, so we'll do last question. Since you wanted to cook, what's on the menu tonight if you guys were cooking? Mm, oh, vagina. Mm. What? Oh, uh, <laughs> grilled vagina. <laughs> grilled. I'm a fan of being from California. Well, originally from the East Coast, but then moving to California. He's a fan of moving to California. I'm a huge fan of moving to California, but try tip. Yeah, you can't really find that on the East Coast that much. I don't even but know what that is. yeah, see, that's it's the thing. a mar. It's basically it's it's a lean piece of meat, but it's a lot of times it's marinated in spices and herbs. It's kind. Of, sometimes it will kind of have a Mexican taste to it, but other times, like they or tumble to burgundy. Dress it up wine. any way you want. Holy it's cow! It's a big rump, really. In the very tender. You it's guys know like what you're talking about. That's meat nice. Meat. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> meat and gravy. I really, that or vagina. <laughs> there you go. I think just now we might have come up with a money-making wow. opportunity for the Food Network cooking on the Warp Tour. Yes. It could just be a yeah. one-hour special. You should actually see series. You should see David's level of bus cooking because all you have is a microwave, a sink, and a refrigerator. Like he, goes, he gets he, a lot of concoctions. He has like eggs and waffles and you know pancakes and but sausage and like egg, all this stuff. You know, you I, don't give up your microwave. secrets. Don't your secrets. <laughs> right? I'm just saying. It's amazing. Serve them out of Macbeth's everywhere. I, get I that. Get the shoe it. out. That's okay. You don't have to. Yeah. Well, fellas, Angels and Airways. Yes, sir. Good luck. Thank today. you, guys. Thanks Thanks for thank you for having, having us, you guys. Stop by hanging out here with 90NX.com. I'm Lewis. I'm BJ. I'm Matt. I'm Tom. I'm Adam. Angels and Airways live from the Vans Warped Tour 2008.